Hey, let me ask you a question. This is a good question. So if you're listening and you want to comment on this, this is, I think, I want to know what people think about this. If you have a friend that has some extreme physical thing about them, okay, and I'll explain to you what I mean in a minute. Should you warn people ahead of time? Like, okay, like I remember I had this friend who was gorgeous. She was about 5'10". She modeled for a little while, but then she went into it. I mean, she could have been a supermodel if she wanted to. She just did not want to. Like she, you know, they force you into modeling when you're like 14, 15 years old and you're nine feet tall and you look like her. Mm -hmm. Um, But then like she went all that into it. So, but she's stunningly beautiful. Like I've only had two friends in my entire life who are this level beautiful, you know, because when you're like, you know, I'm like a little shrimpy girl. I'm, 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 I ain't looking, you know, whatever. I guess when you're a beautiful girl, most of your friends are really beautiful. So having a really beautiful friend is common. Not for me. I've only had two. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I had this one friend. I still have this one friend. She's so beautiful that when I take her with me to a party, a meeting, I brought her to lunch one time with a bunch of girls. They said to me afterwards, and I've heard this more than once, you should warn people. You should say to people, somebody is coming. That is going to be so beautiful, really tall and really beautiful. You need to prepare yourself for that. And I thought, that's weird. I'm just bringing a friend. Like, just whatever the friend is, when they show up, just deal with it. Like, why is it my problem that you can't deal with somebody who's really beautiful? Mm -hmm. And I had that reaction one other time in my life. I had a friend years ago, still kind of friends, still friends with her. She died recently, so... You know, we didn't stop being friends. She just she just died. But she was morbidly obese. I mean, she was like just a few pounds under one of those 600 pound life. She's not just like somebody that, you know, an American that just has a little extra weight. I mean, she was really, 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 really big. Mm -hmm. And again, like the same way I treated my supermodel looking friend, I just brought her along to stuff. And again, I was people said to me, oh, you got to warn people ahead of time. If someone's coming that you're that's that big, you know. What? What? What is that? I don't understand that. And I don't understand that reaction. And I, the fact that I've had that reaction more than once when I bring a friend that is out of the ordinary or somebody that you wouldn't picture me with, um, that's been the reaction of people. And I don't I don't really understand that. No, I think you need to get better friends because if they bring that up, then they have an issue. You know, I've never said that to another human being ever in my life. Wow, she's really fat. Why did you bring her? Or No, 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 no. Not why did you bring her, but if you're going to bring a friend that's that beautiful or that large, you should warn people ahead of time. Hey, I'm coming to lunch. The person I'm bringing is incredibly beautiful. Hey, coming to dinner. The person I'm bringing is almost 600 pounds. I know, but sometimes you tell me this girl's really attractive and then she comes and she's not <laughs> just next to you. Yeah. She's hot yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and and next to you, she's skinny. Uh, so, right. There is that. That's yeah, true. Yeah. No, I think if, if people bring that up to you at, on the down low afterwards, they have an issue. They have a but big the fact issue. is, I, but, but I've heard it more than once. Then and you I've have, heard it from then you. You hang around with assholes. Oh, that, is that that's okay? The all right, I feel good knowing that because the fact that I that I okay, I have one particular friend that I heard it from more than once, and Asshole. then I'd heard and then I'd heard it from. But what? Wait a minute. But what about the really beautiful girl? Like that, I heard from women. Other women were like, "You should tell us that the person you're bringing is so beautiful, but she's not in competition with you. She's got a man. Like she's not after your man, you know." Mm-hmm. So I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I thought women hated other really super attractive women. I I mean, you can appreciate the beauty, but (laughs) in the back of your mind, you hate them. No, not me. No, I don't. I don't have that issue at all with people because I don't know. I guess I just. That's just never been my thing. I, I have friends that that is their thing, that they feel very competitive with other women and they compare themselves constantly you know me, I, you know my ego. I don't, I look at a supermodel and go, 
eh, I'm smarter than her, you know, or I have, you know, eh, I have a better relationship than she does. Like I always feel superior <laughs> for some other reason. <laughs> for no it reason make me, at it doesn't, all. It, no reason at all, but it doesn't make me feel bad that they're so gorgeous because it's like, eh, it's all they got, you know. Well, it's like me when I look at Brad Pitt, I just yell at God. <laughs> you know? why did i get dealt this hand and he got dealt this hand why why right. yeah <laughs> what did no, i it's do true. yeah and you know the thing that's frustrating about it is like when you look at someone like jennifer aniston maybe not a good example but like because she's worked really hard to look like that at 50 but i just feel like a lot of these people, they just won the gen- genetic lottery. Like the other day. Okay. So who was it? Molly Sims. Molly Sims was posing in a, in a bathing suit on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's everywhere today. People are like, look at Molly Sims. God, she still looks amazing. It's like, she's a supermodel. She's going to look like that at 70. Like, you shouldn't be surprised she looks like that at whatever she is, like 45 or something. You know what I mean? Like, they're acting like, I mean, look at Christy Brinkley. She's in her 60s. She looks better than I've ever looked in my entire life, even when I was 18. Yeah, I hope that if there is reincarnation, that they come back as a frog in the next <laughs> life. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope we get dealt different cards all the time. Right. You know, yeah. we, we come back as something ugly. We give somebody like you and I a chance to be the beautiful dove and they can be the frog. Yeah, but they, you're not going to remember it. I mean, for all you know, you were gorgeous man in your last life and now look at you you know what i mean maybe you had seven so lives before this i was hot yeah maybe in the 1600s maybe in the 1600s you were a king mm-hmm. you know and now your payback is you're you're you now you're this yeah. so, you're so this when people now. saw me they yelled at god and right. that's what happened oh. right and you said one day i might come back as you know some radio me. guy some like <laughs> radio producer host guy looking like this mm-hmm you know, and all the people are like, no, you're so beautiful. That'll never happen. And now, you know, like, here you are. Yeah. And I think that's the only <laughs> way God can be fair. Right. Mm-hmm. Is to make people like us and people like Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt. <laughs> like equal it out at some point. <laughs> at some point. Yeah.